Hi, this is Dave Kleber, amateur radio call sign KB3FXI. Today I'd like to talk in this video uh, about the Reed Sullivan ID modes and setup and configuration for NBEMS FL Digi software. Uh, the software is available at www.w1hkj.com and we have additional information on setup and configuration and uh, different modes uh, for different uses at panbems.org. So if we go to the FL Digi screen, uh, you'll see up at the top there are two uh, check boxes here that we both have checked. The one is for receiving the Reed Sullivan ID and the other one is for transmitting it. These are the basic settings just to switch the, the uh, main modes off and on. Uh, just a brief mention about the waterfall. Uh, this is your passband frequency that the radio uh, audio is passing along to the software. Most modes, and I'll switch to Olivia for instance, will allow you to select the different spot on the waterfall that you want to be. Uh, but the MT63 mode that we use is one of our primary modes uh, and we use the 1000 Hertz mode on HF. You'll notice when I switch this the center passband switches to 1000 on the waterfall. The mode for MT63 is always on the bottom frequency of 500 Hertz so on the 1K mode we have to be centered on the 1000 Hertz spot on the waterfall. And so that's the reason why uh, for our call frequencies we list both the dial frequency for the, for the transceiver, for the RF frequency, and we also always specify a center uh, waterfall frequency of 1000 Hz. And this becomes very important in the operation of RSID and we'll explain that a little bit later. The RSID is a little eight tone mode that's a, a specific mode to itself that's transmitted prior to the transmission of whatever mode it is that you're sending. And I'll demonstrate this here real quick with a, a CQ call and you'll see the little burst at the beginning there and then the MT63 marker tones followed by the uh, MT63 transmission. Now there's additional settings just beyond just transmitting and receiving the modes and we'll go into configure, IDs, and these two blocks are the, the uh, ones with the control for the uh, RSID. This is a critical setting right here. Uh, detector searches entire passband. If this were selected, what happens is the result is that any RSID signal that's transmitted anywhere within the waterfall, the software is going to react to, automatically switch up to that frequency in the passband and change modes. In our case, we, we for our emergency communications operations, we want to have that unchecked because we don't want the uh, RSID detector identifying signals that are probably not intended for our operations. Uh, the other setting is to mark the previous frequency and mode and this simply just puts a tag in your received uh, uh, text box that lists the time that the RSID mode was identified, uh, where it was on the passband and the mode uh, that your software switched to. Now one of the other things is, is we didn't want to have the software and the RSID detector reacting to any mode that might happen to come along on our uh, dedicated uh, call frequency and spot on the waterfall. So if you go into receive modes, you'll see that the majority of them are all unchecked. And we have, uh, in our situation, only checked some of the primary modes that we use for our emergency communications operations. For instance, MFSK64 we sometimes use for uh, low resolution pictures. We use the two MT63 modes for 500 and 1000 Hertz on HF and we use MT63 2000 on FM. 
We occasionally use some of the BPS uh, K modes, the faster modes for HF or FM. And then our primary uh, keyboard mode for HF is the Olivia mode. So once you have only the modes that you want the system to react to, you just hit close. You hit save on here and then close again. And you're ready to detect the RSID signals. Uh, also in the configure uh, IDs, you have the ability to select what modes you want to transmit the RSID mode on. I think by default the PSK31 is unchecked uh, when you load the software. And actually you would everybody knows what PSK31 is and the, and the other problem with transmitting the RSID on PSK31 in some of the very narrow modes is that the identifier is actually wider than the mode uh, that you're transmitting itself so that's really not good operating procedure but we did want to show you the ability to uh, select what modes you transmit the uh, RSID on Just one final comment on the importance of the RSID and some of the additional features within the NBEMS FL Digi software. The one real uh, valuable thing in the NBEMS software is the ability to uh, detect and extract and save specific files. Uh, there are wrap files that can be sent uh, as text that includes some basic code along with a checksum calculation that allows the receiving stations to verify that they've received 100 percent but in addition to that the mode uh, the the wrap uh, coding also embeds a file name and the software will automatically extract those files so if you go to configure miscellaneous you'll see this enable detection and extraction and you want to make sure that you have that checked the result is in an unmanned station using both RAP and the FLMSG message uh, forms and the RSID modes on a, on a fixed call frequency and a fixed uh, center on the uh, waterfall an unmanned station can return uh, you can return to your unmanned station that was monitoring the frequency and all the f important files uh, that were transmitted are extracted and saved in a receive folder and also all the mode changes uh, that you want the system to react to uh, are done automatically too so it's some pretty powerful features in the NBEMS uh, package of software so I hope you found that useful anybody has any questions you're welcome to drop me an email at kb3fxi at yahoo.com or visit our site at panbems.org thanks very much and 73